What's up? It's me, Ashley. So, I'm going to do a review on um, Check Yourself with Love and Hip Hop. Now, a lot of other people already do reviews on Love and Hip Hop and Housewives and all those things. And, baby, I live, okay? And I'm pretty sure I will start doing... Um, um, a review for this reunion if it's all cracked up to be like it's supposed to be because Lord knows Bravo can edit it the hell out of some stuff. Okay? But, okay, it's this little thing on the internet called Check Yourself where you watch the cast of Love and Hip Hop watch themselves on TV and reiterate some more bullshit. And I have found myself to love it. So what I'm going to do is be different and review that and watch it with you guys. And then we just gonna, you know, chat it up a little bit. That's all. That's all we gonna do. PSA, I have got a hell of a life, a hard-ass job, and some real-life issues. So, we're going to do this as ghetto as it comes, okay? Yeah, <laughs> like that. Now, this is that shit I can't do, okay? Because, Carly, you came out there in some heels. And you have to be mic'd up. And then he out there with the llamas and the packers. And y'all after, like, y'all don't know the one another coming. <sighs> Young Jock, that's what we're talking about. See, the average black woman, woman, not girl nor who, but likes a man with a brain, baby. And you dropping words like that that actually are words, it's quite sexy, even though I don't find you sexy, but I find your personality hella sexy, which is how I see you guys, Zena. Now, all the other chicks... I don't know, but I'm rocking for Zena. Well, you got other baby moms too. But we've been introduced to Zena, so, and a couple of other ones, but I only remember Zena. So, you know, I see how you get your women. I see how you get them. Go on, play on. Play on, player. You should apologize to me. All the quotes you can do. Carly, you're a mom, so I ain't apologizing. If I apologize, you got to apologize first. Let's do it better. If you apologize to me, I get what I want. What I want is. She'll do that for free, John. I'm gonna shake on this bed. I'd rather hunt to it. I'm gonna do it right when we do it. Bring it in, bring it in. I don't miss it. I don't miss it. I don't miss it. I don't miss it. But you're steady grabbing my ass, right? The next scene you're about to see is Jocelyn's masquerade party where some serious accusations are about to take place. Carly, before this young lady tell you that that shit was um, I'm going to tell you. You look dumb as hell doing that. There was absolutely no point. Especially 
when young jock dropped the note that uh he invited you there so how you gonna sneak up on somebody when you invite it because he will say that in a few minutes Now that's some shit I just missed on um, seeing this earlier. Maybe maybe they was having conversations because he um congratulated her on her newborn. How you know that if this was all a shock to you, Jock? But I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt that y'all were having conversation and it came about. And Carly, because you said it. Don't Kirk look dumb, y'all. Always. Not Rashida Purdy either. Proud hoe. She a proud hoe. And she don't know me. And Kirk is like, do I? Can somebody fucking tell Kirk what to say? Oh, you never. Me with me at my mother's house before. Kirk said, what the fuck is that, Kirk? Hmm. Now, Rashida, you need to whoop Carly's ass because Carly was not one of those females that came at the situation like, oh, you, you, you messing with my, my girls, dude. Okay, let me find out the tea, girl. I might be your friend for a second to find out the tea before I go tell Rashida before Kirk do. But, mm, mm, you just messy, Carly. And you're like not even a cute messy. You just, just, ugh, just. Just that messy. Where you just you just make the same face. That like that's you, Carly. Get this, like cut that shit out. Bottom line, this whole segment right here, this whole segment right here, that five minute segment right here, the VH1 puts on the internet shit better than the whole show right there alone. Okay, because they cover it. It just makes them seem more human. So. To sum that right on up, Carly, you 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 just need an ass whooping, period. And um, Jasmine, you a hoe, and that's your storyline. You a hoe, a hoe. Let me say it one more time for you, a hoe. You ain't got no other role, hoe. You a hoe. That's it. And Kirk. You are not even on the radar to be fine enough to be up and up like that. Ever. Okay? Don't nobody want your cuck out eyes but Rashida. That is it. And sometimes, honey, sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I think Rashida may be sticking with your ass because all the gayness that go on 
in Atlanta, and and she didn't want to take that chance. Maybe that's why she with your ex, because I sure can't figure out why else she would be with you. With all that fuller you do. But, whatever. Anyway, that was <laughs> my review on the first Check It Up. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, share. Do whatever you have to do. Go tell a friend. Go watch the show yourself without my commentary. It's very entertaining. Like I said, it's sometimes better than the damn show. And you'll find out more information. So I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching as always. Have a blessed, blessed and prosperous day.